Hey guys, Steph from North Shore Bronco here. In today's video, I'm going to do a review on the seven speed manual transmission of my two door Bronco Badlands, non Sasquatch. There is a one inch uh, rough country lift on this. I have 35 by 12 and a half R17 Toyo MT tires on there. They are 30 pounds heavier than the KO2s that came with it. So it does take a little bit more power. I have the seven speed manual transmission, like I said, with the 2.3 liter turbo engine. And I just want to show you guys that it's more than enough to throw this little Bronco around. All right, let's go for a drive. Got my little checklist here of stuff I want to show you guys. Do our little adjustments here. Okay. All right, I am Canadian, so the display will be in kilometers, but I have a little chart for miles per hour. Turn the fan off so you guys can hear. Grogu's good. Mando's good. Bubba Fett, good. Handbrake off. All right, we're gonna stay in 4A, so four automatic, just because Canadian winters. And off we go. So, we're gonna do a little bit of driving in town, then I'll hit up the highway, just to let you know. So right now I'm in second gear. It's pretty smooth. I think the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go get a coffee. So just driving around here, going 50 kilometers an hour, which was about 30 miles per hour. I'm guessing your speed limits in town are probably close to ours. So for us in town is mostly 50 K an hour. I can go down to fourth gear or up to fourth gear, I guess, to if there's not too many hills and just kind of keep it up between 1.5 and 2,000 RPM. See, so I'm starting to pick up speed going down this hill, which is nice if you want to coast. I don't, so just downshifted into third. But the shifter and the clutch on this, it just, everything just feels so good. Nope. I didn't see no red. All right, so the first place we're gonna go, we're gonna go through the worst drive-through for a standard that we have in town. We're gonna pick up a coffee, of course. Um, it's on a hill around a corner to go through the drive-through. I don't know if there's gonna be a lineup or not. Yeah, there is, good. I wanted a little bit of lineup just to show you. Now I'm gonna look like an idiot with a GoPro on my head, but whatever. So I wanted to show you my first kind of trick that I enjoy having the manual. Now, of course, if you have an automatic, it's a, it's not a, it's not an issue going through a drive-through, right? So, but if you're in a drive-through like this and you're going uphill and there's cars behind you, there's not a lot of standards left. So people tend to tailgate you. But what I like to use is actually my crawler gear when I'm in a drive through because I don't even have to hit the gas. So I can keep one foot on the brake if I want and you just start letting the, the clutch go. So I am on a s slight hill here. It's not much, it is, okay, three degree uphill. It's not much, but it's enough to cause you to roll back and if somebody's tailgating you of the brake, I'm not touching the gas. This is just me letting go of the clutch and my foot's still on the brake. So <laughs> I always joke for mall crawlers with a standard, the crawler gear is very useful for in a drive-through. See, off we go again. No gas. I'm just letting go of the clutch a little bit, push the clutch in and stop. So it's great for that because you're not playing the whole 
trying to hit the gas enough to, to go and not roll back and hit the car behind you and hitting the gas too much and hitting the car in front of you. Now I know that people used to driving standard, that's not a concern, but it's just nice to have. Let's just get a coffee here. Hi, can I get a medium dark roast black? Yes. And that's it. Okay, good always. Thank you. All right, so this is what I mean. You can see there's a steep incline on a turn here for standards, kind of annoying. So just letting go of the clutch. Controls my speed and I stop. Tap. Good. Nope. Thank you. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more um, in town driving and then we're gonna hop on the highway. All right, now I want to show you something cool. I'm just at the stoplight here. Let's say the first week I got this, I hadn't driven standard for a while. It doesn't happen anymore, but if you accidentally stall, like look, let's say I try to take off in third right now and, and I stall it. You hear that? Stall. As soon as I push the clutch in, it starts it again. So it can actually help you in those moments where if you stall in an intersection or just like I did now, you're pretty quick to recover because all you gotta do is push the clutch back in and it starts the uh, Bronco back up. I think it's a feature of the auto start stop, which see, actually that just kicked in right now, which is fine. Um, some people don't like it, I like it. So it, it's kind of cool that you don't have to Put it back in neutral and fiddle with the key and hit the start button like i remember my god i think it was a 1989 ford escort that i i learned driving on um it, it was like that so it's pretty embarrassing if you stall but the bronco kind of helps you recover from that really quick which is really nice so there is that now if you are out on the trails and you are in four low it will not restart. I think, I haven't read up on it, but I'm assuming it's because you're in four low. They're probably assuming you're in a tight situation. And if you stall is because you hit something or you were close and you had to slam on the brakes and you just got to recompose yourself and start her back up. Um, but it only doesn't restart from what I've seen when you're driving in four low. All right, we're gonna head to the highway now. So normal cruising speeds. I'll usually end up, I find I shift around 3,000 RPM, if not a little bit before, if I'm not really in a hurry. And anything under 50, I'm usually in third gear. Once I hit 50 kilometers an hour, so 30 miles per hour, I'll be in fourth. And then if it's a long straight road, um, I'll end up going into into fifth gear. Sixth gear, obviously, is just on the highway. And we're going to go show you that. Some people are afraid that if they jump up to 35s on the manual, they'll lose their sixth gear. It's not the case. So see, I'm under 50 there. I'm going, I'm at in fourth gear, 1.3 RPM. People are going slow. I'll just bring it up a bit. And another thing, if you're going on a long straight road, the cruise control, if you have cruise control, on all my other vehicles, you had to start it and then hit set your speed. This is just, boom, you hit it. And look, I'm locked in at 52 kilometers an hour. And then I can adjust it from there. So with a standard, it's kind of nice. Because if you know there's, you're just going to be going on a straight road for a little bit, you could just hit that and then you don't have to worry about anything else. So, but uh, let's go for a little drive on the highway here. 
And I don't know if I'm gonna have any cars behind me, but I'm gonna show you the acceleration to merge. I could be, I should be going faster right now, but I wanna show you that you can still accelerate if you need to. Oh, transport. It's all. Oh, hey, it's, it's loud. I think my seal, I think my seal's frozen on the, uh, the window. Hopefully the sound's not too bad. There you go. All I had to do was open and close the window. So right now I'm going, so 62 miles per hour, actually probably a little bit more because I'm going 113 kilometers an hour. The speed limit here is 100 and I'm under 3000 uh, revs. So if I want, I can actually downshift. Sorry, if I want, I can upshift to six gear, which I just did. Yeah, so in six gear, I'm revving it at, I'm going a slight uphill right now. So 2.2. I'm running 35 Toyo MTs right now. If you see any shaking, it's from the coffee. This is smooth on the highway in six gear. Going uphill, actually didn't really increase my RPMs. And I increased my speed to 116 with the cruise control on. All right, so we're gonna come off the highway here. And that's that's a nice thing too, you can throw it neutral. If you do want to increase your mileage, I'll just kind of coast to your your exit. Oh, dirty sensors. All right, let's go. Let's head back towards town. All right. I got a Buick in front of me which makes me kind of happy because I wanted to pass someone. And for some reason, I feel like that Buick driver is going to be driving under the speed limit, so. Woo! So, you saw how fast you can accelerate if you need to. It was a very short on-ramp, and I had a big transport truck behind me, and I didn't have a lot of room to go, but I just I left it in third, I floored it, and it, it got me here no problem on 35s. I'd be curious to see how this does with 37s. Um, of course, it's gonna bog it down a little more, but is it gonna be that bad? I, I don't know. All right, so as I predicted, this guy is only driving right under the speed limit. So when it's safe to do so, I'm gonna pass him and just show you that you can get pretty decent speed downshifting with 35s in a Bronco. With the 2.3, mind you, it's not even the 2.7. I think what helps though is the gearing at 4.71. If I had the automatic Badlands, I think the gearing it would be 4.443, I believe, which is fine. Uh, okay, so. Going down a third. That guy sped up as I was passing him. Still got him though. But 
as you see, it has enough power. Okay, so we're off the highway. All right, so for the last thing I wanna show you guys is uh, the manual transmission for off-road. You can see my other videos, how I use it. A lot of times I'll be in four low and I'll mostly use uh, my crawler gear or first gear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in four low right now. Uh, easiest way, I'll just throw it in rock crawl. Okay, so it wants me to press the clutch for it to shift. It's engaging, boom. All right, so now my rear locker's on. Front sway bar disconnect is disconnected. I'll just leave it like that and I'm gonna engage crawler mode and I'll show you why I really like it. Um, same thing as for if you're in a drive-through, you don't need to really press the gas. Uh, as you'll see, the trail that goes behind my house is pretty tight. That's where I haul my wood. I like having my foot on the brake or hovering near the brake so I can stop if I start sliding towards trees or whatnot and I could just let go of the clutch. Now in four low, I let go of the clutch right now I'm like, I'm not touching anything. No gas, no clutch, and my foot's just hovering over the brake. And we're going down a hill here. So it's going pretty slow, pretty controlled. It's in the snow, I'm not sliding. So I'm just gonna press the gas a little bit to move along. There, pitch and roll. So we're going down a five degree incline here, which is not bad. But yeah, so it's nice to have the crawler gear for here. And you know, if I'm just going around, it's not stalling. I'm just moseying along. You can see the tires. Not even touching the gas. So it's nice for that, especially like, here, I'll, go, I'll move up a little bit. All right, so now these trees are pretty tight and I have slid a little bit to the right before, so I try to keep it tight, but as I'm watching, my hand's just, or my hand, sorry, as I'm going through these tight trees, my foot's just on the brake and on the clutch. So to stop, I just push the clutch in and just tap the brake. So yes, an automatic and low gear would be easier for these instances, but I'm just telling you that once you're used to the clutch, it's really good and it's really forgiving. Like I've rarely stalled it Oh, this is a tight turn. Am I gonna make it? No. The tree's kind of close. All right. All right. So I got a hill coming up. I'm gonna put it in first just to get a little bit of speed up here. It's not a big hill. And I know in my video, sometimes you guys hear the, sounds like the tires are like really revving, like, but I'm never going over like 3000 RPM. So, oh, there goes the mirror, which is fine. Let's see, I should be back in crawler now because it's tight over here. See, 2.7. It's just because I'm in low gear, so it's not really engaging it.
Okay, and that's where my sawmill is, on my firewood skating rink in the backyard. There's always a big water drop right there. <laughs> Even if I wash it, it'll come back, watch. Anyway. All right, so now I'm going down this hill. Okay, sometimes this hill is slippery. I, ne I do have access to hill descent. It'll team up your brakes and your traction control together so that you're not uh, locking up your wheels and you start sliding. So I'll just engage that. So hill control descent is ready. I'm just going to put it back in crawler gear and let's just see what it does. So you can't really see it, but look how smooth that is going down. And I could have been slipping and sliding all over the place. There. All right, so I'm gonna put it back in first just to get a little bit of speed. I've slid sideways up this hill a couple times and kind of got stuck close to these trees because the seven degree angle going up didn't look too bad, but. So just to show you, I'm just gonna go install it here in the snow. So going through snow, let's try it again. Let's stall it again. Look at that. See, my foot's off the brake and it's not even stalling. It's still trying to go. Still trying to go without stalling. Like, how do I, if I hit the brake maybe? There. So for some reason, when you're in four low, it won't restart. Okay, so now last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch back to four high, just to show you the crawler gear in four high. I'm driving my dogs nuts in, in the house. And I'm actually gonna take my hill descent off. There. So I'll show you the speed now I'm in crawler gear, but in four high. So it's much faster. Oh, those dirty sensors. Shush. Maybe that'll help. Okay. There. So much faster. You know what? I need to clean that sensor. <laughs> it's bugging me. Ah. There. You know what? Honestly, as much as I like the cameras and all the sensors I think if I were to get another Bronco I would forgo the front camera and the sensors they're just they're nice but they're sometimes I find if you're getting mud all the time they're just they're too much all right so this is crawler gear in four high and see kind of makes me nervous coming through these trees here it's a little fast for here but Going from four high to four low is a nice way to um, is a nice way to regulate your speed while on the trails. I just I love that crawler gear. See, in four high, you can go much faster when you're not in a tight spot. Oh, 
crawler gear in action again. No gas, no brake, I'm just going. Well, I think I covered everything. Um, I'm gonna head back to work now. Would I get it again if I got a Bronco? Absolutely. And would I get the 2.3 engine again? Absolutely. It's a 2.3 turbo, plenty of power for a Bronco. And with the manual transmission, you can decide the shifting. It's great. Um, the 10 speed automatic is a great uh, transmission. No doubt. This just adds some badassity to the Bronco. It's just one more thing that makes it fun to drive. Um, this is not just a, my family vehicle. This is my toy. I use it for a tool. Um, yeah. So manual transmission all the way for me. If I were to do it again, absolutely I would get it. It surpassed my expectations. I was worried I would get sick of it. Yes, I don't live in a big city. The shifting, it just, it adds an extra level of fun to your driving. It just makes it more of a customized drive. It's just, the feeling is just a lot better. In the comments, let me know if you prefer the manual transmission to the automatic and let me know why. If you have any questions that I haven't covered in the video, make sure you leave them down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.